This is SportsCenter. Hey, I'm Marissa Bruno. We have just one game on the NHL schedule tonight. And to the dismay of probably half the country, it beats the Leafs. As they take on a rival of sorts in the Lightning. Toronto started the season strong. But in a way that's a little more surprising, the Leafs have allowed two or fewer goals in four out of five games. And if you don't count empty netters, it's technically been every game. And not many people were expecting them to win this way. Anthony Stolarz is eighth among all goalies in goals saved above expected. And that kind of goaltending is only going to help as the top players find their scoring touch. Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner have combined for three goals in those five games. But it's not like either is really slumping, as along with William Nylander, all three are basically around a point a game. On the other side of the matchup, it's all about Nikita Kucherov, who leads the NHL in goals with seven. As Jesse and I both like to say, are you kidding me? Tampa as a whole is lighting up the entire league right now, as they're averaging four goals a game. And they've literally scored four goals in every game. So it's kind of strength against strength for both them and Toronto tonight. But they are finally coming off a loss, as Ottawa snapped their unbeaten streak 5-4 Saturday night. Oh, good for Ottawa, eh? Yeah, I'm excited about tonight's game. I will be in the building. If you're around, please say hello. I'll be in the bleeds. I'll be in the bleeds. <laughs> to football in week seven was a wild one in the NFL. And there's some pretty big injuries that we need to update. Let's start with Jaden Daniels. He left the first quarter of yesterday's beatdown of the Panthers with a rib injury. Daniels is getting tests done today as they try to pinpoint exactly what that injury is. Marcus Mariota looked great in relief, but still no word if we'll see him or Daniels next week against the Bears. Which would really suck if we don't get to see Caleb versus Jaden in a battle of two great rookies. I don't think it's severe, but they don't know whether he's gonna be able to play yet or not this week. They're still waiting to hear that right now. And again, they gotta put together a game plan here. Don't know whether or not you'll have him. Uh, Marcus Mariota would start if Jaden Daniels can't. I just think it's up in the air right now. That's the fairest way of saying it. So we'll wait and see on Daniels. But the worst is feared when it comes to Brandon Ayuk. Kyle Shanahan told reporters that the fear is a torn ACL. But tests are still being done today as we await confirmation. Confirmation is what we have with Deshaun Watson. As we learned this morning as an MRI confirmed the worst fears. Watson will miss the remainder of the season with a torn Achilles. And one more injury but not quite on the same level. As the Raiders have placed quarterback Aiden O'Connell on injured reserve, he has a fractured thumb and is expected to miss the next four to six weeks. Outside of injuries, Sunday it gave us an underwhelming Super Bowl rematch. But with Casey's win over San Fran and the Vikings lost to the Lions, the Chiefs are now the lone unbeaten team in the NFL. But they don't look like the same old Chiefs. But Patrick Mahomes is still the MVP favorite, despite throwing for less than 200 yards, no touchdowns, and two picks. But that rushing touchdown did look pretty sweet, with Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen right behind him at 5 to 1. Mahomes is off to the slowest start of his career, as he's fourth last in the NFL in terms of touchdown to interception ratio, with names like Levis, Minchu, and Richardson as the only QBs that are worse. And looking at the opposite side of that stat, we see Josh Allen at the top of the league with a 12 to 0 touchdown to interception ratio. Yeah, that's not a mistake. It's been seven weeks and Josh Allen still has not thrown a pick. Week 7 concludes tonight with another Monday night doubleheader. And this is a great slate as we love both these games. It starts at 8.15 Eastern, 5 Pacific on TSN with the Ravens and Bucks. Then at 8.45 on TSN, we have the Chargers and Cardinals. Well, I'm going to have to dual screen this at the Leafs game. The list of LeBron James accomplishments is bonkers. I mean, just look at this resume. Four-time NBA champ, four-time MVP, four-time finals MVP, 20-time All-NBA, six-time All-Defense, and of course, the most points scored in NBA history was 40,474. But yesterday he posted his newest accomplishment. And honestly, this might be the most surprising of them all, as he's one of the top 100 players in the world at Madden. Madden is hard and a lot of good players play. So, I mean, I'm more impressed with this than his NBA accolade. To be in the top 100 in the world is legitimately wild. You don't understand the amount of players who play this game professionally and make a living out of it. And he's literally just playing as a hobby in his spare time from when he's an actual professional basketball player. If I were a Madden bro, I would be so cheesed about this, knowing that no matter what, no matter how many hours you put into this, someone's always better than you and that person is LeBron. LeBron, darling. <laughs> Tim Nuff, my favorite segment, and yours, that we love sports today. Why we love sports today. And I love roulette just as much as the next person. But this version takes things to a whole new level. I present to you, Fish Roulette. Okay, but legitimately, what kind of prizes are we winning here? Because this looks like a game I want to play. That's all for today. We'll see you at Pick and Roll with Easter. No, Pacific. Have a good one.